Okay, so for Fan TV we have James Ferrara. Um, tonight's game, that was, uh, especially towards the end there, it was uh, quite intense. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of emotions out there. Um, obviously, you know, it's one of those sort of games where, you know, once we put the game away a little bit, we knew we were going to win. Um, you know, there's a few frustrations, a few you know, calls that weren't, weren't had. Um, you know, one thing after another, but you know, sometimes that happens, it's, it's sport, sometimes there's retaliations and, and you know, the more there are in a game, hi mate, the more there are in a game, uh, you know, the more, sometimes, as I said, you know, emotions are out of control, so um, I think it's important, uh, just because they don't interview you, Robbo, uh, sometimes that happens, you know, and it, it's about being mentally strong and dealing with it, with it and you know, when things didn't go their way, perhaps you know they, they sh could have reacted better to it. But it's it's one of those things. Sometimes it happens, and the important thing tonight was that we got through the game and scathed, uh, built momentum, ready for next week. Yeah, the um, the the large home crowd uh, probably helped with um, sort of maybe keeping things under control and keeping the support going. Yeah, support. As I, I said, you know, a couple of weeks ago, has just been absolutely amazing all year, um, and you know the support was, was truly behind us tonight. And I think. Uh, a few of our fans, you know, made a few comments towards them and stuff off the ice, but it's, uh, you know, it's part of sport, isn't it? You know, you come to an away building and you've got a big home crowd behind the home team and things happen, but, uh, you know, the fans were amazing again tonight. We've got playoffs to look forward to now, so uh, how do you now prepare for that without, you know, thinking of, I mean, you've got experience from this season to take into it and things you can do, but how are you now preparing for, for the playoffs? Um, couple things really for me I think the first thing is rest um, having had midweek games for the last four weeks and you know most of those weeks having three games a week uh, we haven't practiced as much as we normally would um, so I think rest recovery and, and hard work and practice this week will be important ready for next weekend um, where we can get back to like a kind of normal schedule um, you know it, it takes a lot out of guys physically and mentally uh, midweek games long bus journeys you know even when they're at home we've got guys that travel to the games and your late nights and then you're up for work still the next day. I don't think many guys have had missed many days of work recently, despite the extra time and the commitment. So um, it's been really difficult. So I think I hope everybody gets you know some rest this week. Um, but obviously the training sessions and the application towards that is going to be really important. Um, but I think the other thing we take into it is that winning mentality. You know we we know how to in, in one-off games or over two legs. You know how to get the job done. How we need to play. How we need to stick together for. 120 minutes, you know, over two legs. So um, I think that's the big thing. We take confidence with that. Whereas, you know, you look back to recent years and we've just maybe fell short or lost a cup final. That kind of plays the opposite role, you know, and in, in, in hindering you sometimes when, especially when that loss comes so close to the playoffs. So um, I think, you know, plenty of rest, hard work this week and, you know, take that winning mentality and confidence through to next weekend. Yeah, I mean, thinking about it, obviously last season we had a very close run again for a title for the league. Uh, this year it's come down to the last weekend essentially as well. Um, so you must feel good even though you know, it doesn't feel good to be a runner-up in anything, but it must feel good to you know, know that you are still at that level to be able to compete. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's why we're all here. And we set the ambitions this year of trying to win as much as we possibly can. Um, and, uh, you know, bar a few points and in the league, we have done that haven't we so um, you know full credit and, and congratulations to Swindon um, they're a good team and we've had some great games against them this season um, you know we, we managed to get one over on them in the cup and then go on to win that and then you know they they won the last couple of games I think we played them in the league this year and you know you can't take anything away from them in that respect you know they've, they've, they're a great team and uh, you know congratulations to them but uh, you know we're still proud I'm still immensely proud of finishing second um, it, if you look at how competitive the league is this year, um, to still be up there and competing and having won two trophies is just, you know, it's an amazing achievement and uh, there's nothing we need to look back on with regret at all. And uh, of course, personally for yourself, you've had uh, your uh, Sports Personality of the Year award as well in Peterborough this year and you've had some you know, various accolades this season. So you must be personally, on a personal level, quite proud as well as obviously what the team have achieved this year. Um, yeah, I guess so. I think that's more, maybe I'll look back in the summer and you look back on, you know, the, the overall season, you know, we've still got some big games to play. Um, I'm just happy that, you know, I'm still able to work hard and commit to the team the way I do. And, uh, 
and help out. You know, uh, if whatever I need to do for the team, I'll be able to do, or hopefully apply myself to be able to do that. So, um, you know, I'll look back at the end of the season, hopefully, and uh, have even more memories.